So, uh, yeah. I'm going to talk about the multitude of terrorist attacks that have happened in the <laughs> last couple of days. I was on vacation with my sister traveling across Germany, and I was going to do a video about cool places to visit in Germany. As you can see, I got a little sun. Um, and my lips got burnt. Uh, but... Terrorist attacks just seem to start happening left and right. And I just saw one today that the Daily Mail is saying a teacher got slashed and girls were yelling for Allah, but the police have already said it wasn't a terrorist attack. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about my past real fast. I've always been in a multicultural situation. And one thing I noticed... I noticed it pretty young. Some people think, you know, you get this anti, you know, everything that's good, according to modern day values, uh, from your parents. My parents weren't really like that. At least if they were, they weren't openly that way, you know, in front of me. There was no racist jokes of being told or anything like that. Uh, you know, we, we were definitely brought up to be respectful of other people. But I noticed somewhere, probably right when puberty starts, or right before puberty starts, you know, uh, fifth, sixth grade, things started changing. I started getting problems from black people, you know, uh, and of course I'm old enough now that there wasn't a huge amount of diversity outside of black people at that time period. Um... And it was even worse when I moved and I was in the 8th grade and ninth grade and they were doing uh, forced busing, which is where they try to get some sort of, you know, desirable mixture, you know. And that was, that was absolutely hell on earth. That, that wasn't a school. That was like jail before jail. I think literally for a lot of the people that were there. I'd be interesting to know just how many people have done jail time or are dead now <laughs> or killed themselves with drugs or whatever I mean it was bad um, I kind of noticed uh, it seems to be well in regards to mass immigration and forced integration all that stuff it seems to be a war on the lower classes the upper middle class and the wealthy don't have to deal with it you know maybe they've got the Korean architect or, 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 or Japanese doctor or something across the street whose kids play violin and you know and and everything and make all A's and you know and all that stuff and uh in the lower class neighborhoods you have the dumbest of the dumb breeding with the new dumbest of the dumb and it, and then I've noticed like creates broken families and uh it's, it's just horrible what what you see it's almost like a war on the low class um which might explain Brexit, why so many people were, oh, well, you know, the educated were for remaining in the EU. Um, and then there's just a whole shitload of bastard children. I heard recently from an Irish friend calling them jelly, beef, jelly bean families, you know, where the mother's got a different skin colored kid, you know, obviously had sex with every race on earth and successfully procre procreated. And, uh, and then just. It's absolutely disgusting. Instead of white trash or brown trash, you've got mixed trash. It's just, like, get me away from these people. Um, another thing I notice now, more and more of these terrorist attacks. All these guys were party people. You know, it's not like they grew up Alahu Akbar and, you know, the whole, you know, their whole life. They were doing drugs partying, sleeping with women. So this gets me to my insult here, where I'm just, I'm disgusted with Western civilization. That might be the point of this video. Um, that, I wonder how many white women out there can brag that they slept with uh, a terrorist. Or like we know now, from when the, the ladies got a kid, got the one guy a visa and the right to go into Britain, you know, got knocked up. This fat, ugly Irish chick. I mean, well, can't y'all people buy a dildo, a vibrator, I mean, Jesus Christ, 
I, I and you know, and I wonder how many women have willfully slept with like the 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 um, Rotterdam or various other cities in England where all these Asian rape games have been raping fourteen year olds, getting them on drugs and raping them, passing them around like you know, like like a joint or something, you know, whatever, whatever you pass around. And you just have to sit there and wonder what the fuck is up. Like, why are women so susceptible to this propaganda? What is, what is, you know, and why are they so willing to stab their own tribe in the back? You know, it's like, you know these people are bad. It, it, and it just keeps happening. Now I'm going to get back to that one in a little bit, too. Um, uh, but that one just keeps going through my mind every time one of these guys... Another thing is hip-hop. See, I, I don't like hip-hop. I'm getting a graduate degree right now. Um, I mean, I would like to think that I'm not terribly dumb. But I've never met someone I thought intelligent that listened to hip-hop. Maybe moderately intelligent, but, you know, it seems to be the, the, the music of dumbasses, drug addicts, uh, criminals, and every brown person out there that seems to have it in their mind to kill Caucasians, whites, uh, seems to be the music of choice for Latino gangs, the music of choice for black gangs, and I just read today, they just had a picture of one of the guys who pulled the knife attack there in, uh, in, in London, posing with the cornrows out front of a club, trying to look like some silly African-American, and it's like, what? So, I mean, that's one thing that also turned me off. You turn, you start playing hip-hop around me, I'm like, dude, I can't hang out, man. I can't see you. Have fun with that. Uh, I, I, it makes me so damn angry. Um, uh, and then I want to get on to this... Uh, this concert that they put on. I mean, is it, and it, is it just me, or is it ironic that, you know, like, the, the, the theme of it, don't walk away angry, or don't, you know, is made by a, two brothers who couldn't even keep a, you know, a top-selling band together because they seemed incapable of walking away, you know, not walking away angry? Uh, and they even kind of gotten a little tweet war over it? I mean, give me a fucking break. Uh, and then the rest of the sluts and whores, you know... Area Grande being the top one, but the other ones, I can't even, Patey Carey or what, I mean, just sluts, and they're lecturing us about love, love based on what, you know, it's, um, do we think these people are, know what love is, uh, that's like getting love, you know, and relationship advice from fucking porn stars, these people are pop artists, they're some of the most despicable people you'll ever meet, in the world, you ever meet? I mean, wasn't it just Area Grande that got caught licking donuts and saying I hate America? I mean, these people aren't morally upright people, you know. I mean, like I said, it's like getting love advice from a twenty, you know, somebody who's been in the porn business for twenty fucking years. I mean, yeah, seriously. Like, and then the best thing was. Like the Ariana Grande Grand side by side or side to side or whatever the fuck it is talking about uh, uh, cream ice or wrist icicle and uh, sex bicycle and talking about having sex so bad that you can't walk for the next days. I mean, that's fine if you're an old fucking slut. You know, hey, use all the orifices you want. Go fuck whoever you want. But you got kids in the audience. I mean, seriously, is this the West? Is this what the West fucking stands for? sexualizing fucking eight-year-old girls talking about, you know, dicks and shit, and, like, getting fucked so hard that you can't walk? I mean, seriously, who thinks that's a good idea? Who? I mean, right there, I'm more in common with the, the Islamist. If that's the fucking West, sign me up with the East. I mean, like, I'd smack the shit out of an eight-year-old trying, you know, like, what the? What the? You know? <laughs> but then it gets back to, like, where the Muslim rape gangs... Is it any wonder that all, you know, all you fucking bitches are so goddamn loose that you'll hop into bed with any brown-skinned man at the dance club? Fuck, no, you've been brainwashed your whole fucking life to be a slut. And, 
you know, is any any wonder these guys show up and you know can get fifteen year olds to go fuck their fifty year old uncle? When you think about it, no. This is what's encouraged. This is what the West is. You know, I when I think of the West, I kind of think of like Bach and and you know or uh, castles and and you know and high culture and 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 stuff like you know good things not fucking turning little kids into sluts before they've even had their first fucking period I mean it, it it's disgusting the whole thing is disgusting so it's like where I said I can't I can't really have sympathy with these people I, I'm sorry I don't feel anything towards the victims they voted for it they, you know, they indoctrinate their kids to vote for it. You know, the worst thing on earth is to be a racist. Like, oh, yeah, child molester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty bad. A racist. Oh, my God. You know, murder. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But he murdered because of racism. Oh, my God. That's the worst thing ever. You know, it's that pe people have been brainwashed. It, it is amazingly uh, amazing just the power of that word. Uh, I. I'm going to make another video on how I think multiculturalism is the new religion of the West. Um, and racism is the modern day equivalent of, or racist is the modern day equivalent of, of being a, um, a, a, a great a heretic or a, a witch. You know, I mean, it's basically, you don't agree with our mass psychosis here. Uh, I'm going to give you my predictions. It's not going to get better. All these little fucking candles you're burning, and all these prayers and nothing. So you pray for prayer, uh, pray for Manchester. Who the fuck are you praying to? God? I mean, who the fuck do you? I mean, who are y'all praying to? You just uh, you just happy meditation prayer thing. Like, oh, my vagina feels better. You know, like. <laughs> do you really think anybody in the history of anything has ever won anything by? lighting candles and praying to you know we can't even pray to a certain god because that would offend everybody so we have to pray to the multicultural god so if you're a hindu you pray to whoever elephant man you know if you pray if you're muslim you pray to the you know that dude if you're the 50,000 different flavors of christianity you pray to your interpreter i mean does that even sound like that's gonna work <laughs> not not only did you trivialize our culture, trivialize the music, you know, and you've done trivialized religion. You've just multiculturalized and pasteurized and just turned everything into shit. You have no strong convictions other than what little bit of programming you've had that every form of ism has to be opposed. That's a foundation to build a society on. Yep, mm hmm. Good luck with that one. And it's only going to get worse. Nobody wants to close the borders yet. Or like Britain now is thinking about repealing everybody's rights because we can't discriminate. Hmm, there's a certain group of people who seem to keep doing this. But in the West, you know, you know, like equality, the belief that a Japanese immigrant is, is likely to blow themselves up as a Pakani, or a Pakistani one, you know, that's equality. Oh, we can't, you know, we, we can't discriminate. And then people complain about waiting in humongous lines at sporting events and, and airplane, airlines and all that shit you have to go through. It's because we can't discriminate. Oh, we have a profile out there, but to use profiles, that would be racist. And it's just, it's going to get worse. I mean, and y'all pussies, you think, you think if a man, you know, the West reminds me of a, of a, uh, a battered woman who calls the police and then when the police get there, say, oh, it was, no, you know, a bloody, uh, a brown, a bluest eyes and bloody nose and welts all over and, oh, no, 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 it was me. I fell down the stairs, you know, I'm sorry. He didn't do it. And starts crying and crying and crying, you know, it's, it's all my fault. Yeah, that's what the West reminds me of these days. And, sorry, I'm not a part of it. I'm, I'm not a part of it, you know. I spent my weekend hanging out where Goethe has been and, and uh, touring Franz Liszt's house and, you know, and following Luther's footsteps and stuff. To me, that's a Western culture. I, I wasn't listening to fucking bicycle dick 
shit, you know, watching the pray for Manchester. Like, if there's a God in heaven, I guarantee he's cursed that motherfucker because that was some straight up blasphemy. <laughs> Which gods are you praying to with a sex thing concert? Moloch or somebody? Some. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare, it's only gonna get worse. If you live in America, buy guns. I'm not worried about getting blown up because I you never see my ass in fucking middle of Manchester or London or fucking Paris or Berlin or any of these fucking shitholes. They've already it's conquered territory, so I don't give a shit. So I don't know. That's my two cents on it all. So fuck off and die. See ya. <laughs>